What's good, everyone? Dave and Nikki back in the den, and I got the top five Jordan 1s of 2020. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, ring that bell. That way you guys get notified every single time I put out a new video. And like I always say, keep that head up, keep moving forward, never give up, never ever quit. 2020 was a crazy year. As we all know, a lot of things happened. And as far as sneakers go, it's a, it was a big year. So many shoes dropped, like, wow. And when the pandemic hit, I thought like everyone else that there was gonna be a halt and we weren't gonna see sneakers for a while. Were people gonna still buy shoes, all that. And it just came stronger than ever. It was crazy. With that being said, Jordan 1s, oh my gosh, it was every, single month it, it felt like every week like everyone else i had a cop a few i had to man you know what i mean why not i came with the top five and it may not be a surprise to a lot of you guys but you know hey i gotta do it right so let's start with number five which i haven't seen in a lot of people's top five but it's in my top five and i will be lying to you if i didn't put it in my top five so i gotta do it here we go Number five. Bam! Yeah. The pine greens. Woo! Yes. I gotta put them at number five, man. I have to. These came out in February uh, 29th, 2020. A lot of people hate on these. Um, because they they like the original pine greens. They didn't like this right here, the the, the wings logo that it was um stitched on or whatever you want to call it. Me personally. Love them, love them, and I wore them like crazy. Look at that. I wore them a lot. I don't know if you guys could tell. The leather though on these things, man. Look at that. Crazy. Yo, before the pandemic hit, my kids were playing basketball or whatever, right? So they, I would go to the games or practice or whatever, and I was wearing these right after work, man. Oof. Right in the winter too, when these came out telling you man for those who hated on these you couldn't beat that leather very underrated very underrated man the leather right here was crazy and as you can see i do wear them like i said but like very underrated no one talked about the leather on these man and i you know i knew it from the moment i saw them and i i got them early um i did uh have a review i had an early review on these too man it's crazy but yeah, I always loved them. I still wear them. I didn't get to wear them on Christmas and I wanted to. I wanted to wear them, but I was so busy with work. But they came with, with some red laces. And everybody was like complaining about that. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of one of them. You know, like, I don't know why they came with red laces. They should have came with green. And everyone kept saying, that's good for Christmas. And Christmas came and went, I didn't get to wear red laces. So. But there you have it right there, number five right there. The pine greens, man, definitely underrated in my opinion. I think, I think they're fire, man. I, too clean, too clean. Number four, bam! Yeah. Woo! That's right, man. The court purples coming at number four for me. April 11th, 2020. That's when these drop. These retail for 170. I don't know if I mentioned the pine greens. They were retailed also for 170. But yeah, 170 right here. The court purples, man. Um, another shoe that people were like, oh, they came out with some, something similar like that before, blah, blah, blah. I had to get them. They really, really stick out. I remember when I tried them on, my wife was like, wow, they, they really make your head turn. Like you, like you go, like you look right at your feet. Nothing crazy about the leather. Uh, it did have the wings logo that everyone loves. I, I honestly only wore them once, bro. I only wore them once because just been so busy. As you can see, they, they, they're they not that messed up like the pine greens. It's still a very great shoe. So I did wear them once. I think I wore them all day. The one day, I might have worn them twice. The whole pandemic was in full effect. They came out, that's when they dropped and uh, couldn't go anywhere, right? They did come with some purple laces, kind of like a, like a lavender, violet, whatever. It's not really the same color as these, but you know what? Might have to swap them out, see what they look like. It just pops, it just works, man. And I, I did I did think about reselling them. I was like, you know what? Uh, and then I thought about it. I said, nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna keep them, I'm gonna keep them. 
And I'm glad I did, man, because now I look at them, I'm like, you know what? I, I got to put these on feet again. I got to wear these again. <laughs> but yeah, man, there you go, man. Super clean. Court purples, man. I had to do it. That's number four right there. Number three. Bam! Yeah. That's right, man. Number three, man. The Midnight Navy joints, man. The Co-op Japans. Or CO Japan. Whatever you want to call them, man. I just call them Midnight Navies. That's right, man. These right here are number three, man. These recently just dropped too. November 14th, 2020. Just in time for Thanksgiving. And I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been wearing these as much as I've been wearing the pine greens, man. Like I, I wore the pine greens a lot and I wore these a lot, man. These, look at that. Uh -huh. That's right. Been wearing it. Look, you can already see the crease happening, man. I'm telling you right now, you know J1s, man. They, they fit true to size. And these right here, for me, I mean, they're already super comfortable, man. Like, I, I just been wearing the hell out of these, man. These right here, beautiful. This is another one where the leather quality was just ridiculous. I mean, look at that, man. I showed it before in my, um, my last review. It was actually my last video. I showed the review on these, and man, it's crazy. I had to get these. I loved them. And like another YouTuber, a friend of mine, Mitch, man, like he said, match with Yankees, man. You can't go. That's a no-brainer. You know, I forgot to mention that, too, because they did come with some navy laces. I threw on the white ones because I think, you know, they just popped a little bit more. But the navy laces and the fact that they do match with the Yankees, me being a big Yankee fan, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wish I was, shoot, I want to go to the game now. Bang! This is beautiful, man. I, I can't stress it enough. But yeah, man, that, that's definitely number three for me this year. Definitely. All right, before we get into the top two of Jordan 1s of 2020, man, I got to do an honorable mention. I have to do it, and it's actually kind of sad. So <laughs> I got to do it, though, man. An honorable mention for me, man, is a shoe that I had and that I no longer have because I freaking resold I so high, yo. Ah. Oh. You ever have those regrets, man? The sneakers that you uh, resell? And you're like, yo, what was I thinking? That's these right here, man. That's going to be the Jordan 1's Racer Blues, man. They retail for $175. They dropped, oh, man, I want to say it was March, March 14th, 2020. And, man, they had those sexy bottoms, man. The, the, the outsole, man. Oh, my gosh, man. And I had them, and I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I needed the bread at the time. I don't remember, man. I, I, I don't know. And I resold them, man. I did make a nice profit. And um, now they're going for like 400 man. That's a shoe that I want to buy back. I'm not going to lie, man. And the thing is, too, they had that Zoom. That was my first Zoom. You know, they had the Zoom technology. But they said it was super comfortable on your feet. And I meant to try that on and see how that was. And I never got to. And then I sold them. I resold them, man. Man, I, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, man. Damn. That's, that's a sad one right there, man. And, and and another thing, too. I was at work when I copped them. I got them on the sneakers app before all these bots took over, man. I got them on the sneakers app, bro. Oh, I got it for retail. It was beautiful. And when I had them, they were so beautiful. And that was a shoe that I kept taking out the box and I kept looking at it. And I, I don't know, man. I sold it, man. Oh, my God. I, I, I got to put it as an honorable mention because guess what? The only reason that they're not in my top five is because I no longer have them. If they were in my possession, they would have been in my top five. Matter of fact, I probably would have made it top six. But <laughs> just to squeeze them in there. Yeah, man. The Racer Blue joints, man. Jordan 1s, man. <sighs> Damn. Ah, messed up. Number two. Bam! Yeah. Woo! That's right. The Jordan 1 Royal Toes, man. Ah. <sighs> oh. This is another shoe that I've only worn once. It's not a shoe that I wanted to dog up or anything like that. I did wear them for one whole day. You know what I'm saying? I got to start cleaning my shoes, man. Even after I wear them, man. But you know what? I like the look that, that you wear your shoes. I like that look. The crazy thing, too, if you look on StockX right now, they're actually cheaper in my size. They're in size 11. They're actually cheaper than the freaking Zooms and the Racer Blues. What the hell, man? Which I feel like that's 
yeah, I, I think these are worth a lot more, man. These reminded me of those fragments that came out a few years ago. I was like one of the first sneakers that I actually tried to cop online um, way back when and I missed out on, you know? So these were like, getting these was like making up for it. I fell in love with these, man. These were beautiful, just gorgeous. And like, I like the fact that they could match with anything. Yeah, man, I only wore them one time. You can see there's no creasing yet on the toes, on the royal toes. These shoes right here, man, are fire, bro. These are super dope, man. I, I, I love these a lot. They also came out too with uh, some blue laces. Which, you know what, man, I was going to just stick with the black ones, but I got to try them out with the blue ones, too. And um, when I do that, too, I'll be putting it on my Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do it, like, day by day. But, uh, yeah, man. <sighs> Super fire. Crazy. All right, now it's that time. The number one shoe for last year, 2020. You guys already know. Bam! Yeah! The Mocha's. I know you guys already seen tons of videos. And a lot of people have these as their number one. I'm gonna tell you right now, they ain't lying. The mocha color, the cream color, like they call a sale right here, the sale color, is, is not really like white, it's like a cream. Oh my God. They even came with the sale laces, right? I left it on with the black ones. I'm gonna try it with the sale ones. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try the sale ones. Don't worry about it. Yo, these came out on Halloween, which is crazy, because I don't remember that. It was not too long ago, but October 31st, 2020. I was like, really? They came out that day? I don't remember that. Um, 170 was the retail. In my size, they're going for about 500 now. And it is worth every penny, man. This, these shoes are crazy. That sway, bro. Look at that. Woo! You see that? If it wasn't for this shoe coming out, the Royal Toes would have been number one. But since these came out, when they dropped, when I saw the, the pictures of these, I said, yo, I. I gotta do it. This shoe is a head turner for sure, man. Like people are looking like, you know, like, like that character on Beetlejuice with the shrunken head when he turns his head like that. That's what they look like when they when you walk by. People who don't know, who don't even know sneakers like that, they know that it's number one shoe. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what you got there? Are those the mochas? Those the? Uh, is that how you say the mochas? Uh huh. Well, well, let me get. Let me hold that thought for you, mate. Respect. That's what this is right here. But yeah, I wore these a couple of times. Um, I had to do them, I had to do it. And definitely the Jordan one of the year, of the past year, I should say. Cause I'm coming out with this video two days into 2021. But yeah, definitely the Jordan one of the year. Hey, let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Let me know your top five or what was number one for you. Let me know right now. Tell me what you think, and let me know if I'm tripping putting the pine greens in my top five. Please, just let me know. Let me know. And I just want to say too, man, looking forward to this year. We already got those, uh, what are they called? The Volts? The, I think that's what they're called. That's like the first Jordan 1 coming out this year. It's supposed, supposed to be on the 9th, right? January 9th. So I'm hoping for another great year of Jordan 1s, man. And I'm going to definitely uh, look forward to copying some this year, man. But yeah. Hey, everyone, stay safe, stay happy. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right? Peace.